Hello, everybody! Dragon here with some more Dark Souls! I, it feels so weird, it's like a two syllable name, but most of the names I have for my channels have like 16 syllables in them. It's really awkward to say Dark Souls. How the hell do people always put messages up there? I honestly have no clue. Is there like some glitch to exploit or something? Whatever, I'm wasting my time. So we have two options here. We can go through this door. No, we can't. Or we can go down this strange, obscure hallway of doom. So I'm going to go down here. And also, I have reversed my hollowing, so I might just be invaded down here. I'm not too afraid. This place is not a very big invasion zone. Be wary of lying in ambush. Very true. Very true. You go in there, you collect that stone, and then you get eaten alive by bush people. <laughs> get eaten alive by the bushmen. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to go into Dark Root Garden this episode. It really is that simple. <laughs> God, my outros have been getting so depressive lately. This guy got wrecked. I don't know by what. I don't know by who, but he got wrecked. And so is this tree. I'm going to cut down this tree using the greatest weapon known to man. That is, of course, going to be a great sword. Because <laughs> that's clearly the most orthodox tree cutting thing. And then the tree melts. Look, don't fucking question it. It's Dark Souls, man. So, yes, we're going to be going down here first because I really don't have any rings equipped. And uh, there's a ring down here that's actually pretty good. Die! Stupid lizard. He tried to jump attack me, and in the end, he just got pounded into the ground. Alright, come on, stop running so fast. And now run, this tree is rotating. I don't know why. <laughs> Again, I don't know if there's a story behind these trees. This game is so intricate with its lore, it wouldn't surprise me to find out that, it, that there is. That these trees are secretly the individual, the lot hidden last two tails of Seath the Scaleless, who is actually five tailed instead of three. I don't know, I wouldn't doubt it. But, at the same time, I would. Because my mind just goes all over the damn place sometimes. These are our new enemies, and. Oh, oh god, this is not going to be a pretty scenario. Just kill the lizards as fast as possible. It is your only redemption. Oh, this guy's coming at me. <laughs> Big Stone Man wants to beat the rhythm with my head. I am currently being flanked and eaten alive by stone people. And lizard. Oh. <laughs> okay. And the guy licked me. Well, that was pretty sodding terrible. And I wasted a soft humanity, which is actually really sad. But whatever, I can go back there. Only this time, I'm not bound by the bounds of humanity, so I can just sort of go balls to the wall. Booyah, baby! Fuck you, wall! I don't know why I fucked the wall, but. <laughs> whatever, man. Anyways, just gotta go back, get my blood saying, get that damn ring, and we can get out of this hellish hellhole of trees, which isn't exactly hellish at all, but I just suck at the game. Try attacking, yes. Why do I never throw down these messages? Well, it's simple. You see, I'm an asocial maniac who, uh, doesn't understand the basics of human emotion. Da oh, God! Fuck you all. That's why I said fuck you all earlier. I knew this was going to happen. I'm a time traveler. Fuck you, lizard. I don't know why I've been running around. I made... Oh, and he... He fell through the wall. I don't know why I made such a big deal about not being able to one-hand my weapon when I'm just two-handing it right now anyways, but SPS two-handing right now is a good thing. It deals so much more damage, and most of these enemies are quite slow. Of course, most of these enemies are still easily killed by the one-handed Zweihander attack. Not gonna awaken the rock man until the lizard people are dead. Uh, unfortunately, it's looking like the lizard people might kill me. Nope. Nope. Not like this. Not like this. Your tail might be long, but it's not long enough for that. I like the sounds these guys make, though. <laughs> I wish I could have one of these as a pet. I sort of made him flinch. That's another thing I sort of like about those Vihanders, that if you hit even remotely near somebody, they'll still flinch and uh, freak out a little bit. Green Blossoms, two of them. Green Blossoms, one of them. And over here, we've got Green Blossom, one of them. Green Blossoms are pretty useful for later boss fights, but for now, it's pretty freaking useless. <gasps> I missed! Ooh, that could have gone terribly. I could have won, fallen off the side. I could have... Oh, no, the green blossoms! They're now one with oblivion. Alright, let's see what... Soul of a Proud Knight. That's actually pretty big. It's like 2,000 souls, I think? Two th maybe 4,000? That's... It's a large number of souls. Anyways, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Uh, this guy will... The game will not let me... Oh, God. He's using his strength. We'll walk. Kill him immediately! Ah! Feels good, man. Feels good! Seriously, though, this sword is taking it out of my stamina. I need so much more endurance. <laughs> oh my god, I'm seriously lacking in vitality and endurance. I am so lucky I haven't been getting... What was that sound? 
I heard something really loud. I don't know what it was. Eh, whatever. I'm sure it wasn't my imminent death. Anyways, let's just keep on going up here because there's one last sentinel up here for me to kill. I believe they're called sentinels. If they aren't call called sentinels, then I guess joke's on me, right? Uh, he's gonna kill me. Nope, he's only going to critically wound me. And then stagger me a little bit. And now I kill him. It's the circle of life, bitch. Alright, time to get up on here. We get, to, we get the wolf ring, which increases your poise, which prevents you from getting knocked back. Wait, this is my first ring? Is there a ring I never got? I feel like I'm missing a ring here. Like, I should have had another ring by now, shouldn't I? Fuck, I don't even know, man. How much money are you willing to bet that I can make this jump? Let's go for it. I'm going- I'm balls to the wall, baby! That's what I'm all about! I ran out of hard drive space. <laughs> so, needless to say, I'm recording this the next day over. So this is going to be interesting. It's a new day, even though it's still the middle of the episode. Uh, and I once again forgot to restore my humanity. That's twice twice in a row, technically, in the video. Although, real, realistically speaking, it's a whole nother day. So, it's only once. But still twice, but only once in a row. Which isn't even a row. I'm wasting my time. And I'm wasting my breath. Alright, just restore the humanity. Let's get some shit done here. This feels really weird to start recording without doing an out intro. Intro. <laughs> Almost called an outro. That's very wrong. That'll be happening in about 24 minutes. Anyways... Go back into Dark Garden. I got the wolf ring. I equipped the wolf ring. That's the that's the important part right there. Not gonna loot that guy. Gonna loot him later. And time to go take on the garden. Filled with these stupid stone people. Or if I two hit, can I actually hit him while he's no, no, you can't. Well, that was a bit of a waste. And oh, good, he's doing his tranquil walk spell. You are dead. Excellent. Now you see why can't all the enemies die like that? Make life so much easier. Alright, I can see you over there, buddy. Stop hiding! Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to two-hand it. Don't kill me! <gasps> I missed again. Alright, come on. Let's, let's be reasonable this time. Just kill! Excellent. He's gonna try and do the uh, the munchy-munchy on me, even though I don't think trees can eat. That's beside the point. He'd photosynthesize me. Photosynthesize realistic matter. It's a trap ahead, in case you didn't read that sign, and I'm gonna kill the trap. There we go. And he falls to the earth. Slowly, lightly. Just like a two-headed snake lizard thing does. Because apparently he's just slightly heavier than the air. Trap ahead! It's true! Be wary of strong poison. It's something I should put down, but... Eh. <laughs> Screw that. Who needs that stuff? Ah! Emails! Emails! Stop it! <laughs> hey. Let's keep on going over here. I believe there's a sentinel right there. These aren't sentinels, by the way. They're actually stone giants or something like that. I don't know. Point is, they're not called Sentinels. Sentinels are later in the game, much later. Ooh, yes, he left himself wide open for attack. And again! You aren't very smart, are you? I don't blame you, I don't even think there's human inside of that thing, but that's beside the point. These guys are smart, they hide against trees and then poison you instantaneously. They're smart, why aren't you smart? Okay, I'm just wasting my breath here. Time to keep on going, there's one more Sentinel over here that I want to kill. And uh, I should probably put my shield out. Alright, come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, no, you don't, motherfucker! Uh, go again! Alright, excellent. And he falls once more. I love this sword. It's so powerful. Power! Alright. Now, if you take that, I, I think it should be pretty obvious what happens if you take that loot, judging by the stuff that surrounds it. I'm going to try and take out two birds with one stone. Uh, Taking out one of the birds did not spawn the other birds. I'll take it. <gasps> But, unfortunately, that bird was invincible because he was spawning into this world. Kill him! Don't have mercy. Have mercy. I mean, do have mercy! Shit! Uh, that was a terrible, that was a terrible slip of the tongue right there. Go again, go again, swing twice! Ah! Uh, that's another reason why I like the swords. It's very tense. Simply because it's such a slow weapon. If you miss, everything goes to shit. Alright, well, anyways, let's head on over here. Kill some more of these bush fiends. Is that the real name? I doubt it. Uh oh. Game. It's not responding. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Just took a little bit to register the sheer force coming out of my weapon. Newton would be proud. Alright, let's just go ahead and aggro this guy so I can kill him. Uh oh. Oh! Well, this is uh, less than optimal, certainly. 
Uh, boy. Yeah, he's coming at me. That, that set, they're not setting all. God damn it. The stone golem is coming at me. Is that his actual name? I actually don't know their actual names. Um, I'm not risking any. Oh, never mind. He's walking into trees. I'm risking everything. What is he doing? <gasps> he's trying to juke me out. Son of a bitch. Alright, he's going for Tranquil Walk. Take him down, boys. The second he pulls out the Tranquil Walk. GG, buddy. GG. Now you see why I go to this place immediately after Undead Parish as opposed to, like, everyone else who comes here after Anne Orlando. Most people come here after Anne Orlando. I'm just like, pfft. You guys are crazy. Crazy stupid. Anyways. I think that's all of them. Nope, one last one of Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. He's not lying on his back. He's lying on his front. That means I completely wiped his face from the face of the planet. And hello there. This is Witch, Witch Beatrice. Makes this boss battle so much easier. Also, I believe she's a reference to Demon Souls. I wouldn't know. I've never played the game. I'm just going off of baseless rumors. Get in here. You're an NPC summon. If I fail to summon you, there's some freaky deaky bullshit going on inside of my game. Let's go. Which Beatrice is here? Time to kick ass. Let's make sure that she's right behind me before I go through the fog wall. Also, oop, what was that? Oh, oh, I, I wasn't sure if I was being, I wasn't sure if I was being invaded or something. Thankfully, I wasn't. This place is not very big for any sort of invasions whatsoever. It's only because people come here so many different levels. It's available from pretty much the, not even before you fight the Bell Gargoyles, and most people come here after Anne Orlando, so you know. I don't know, whatever. What am I doing here? Uh. That's right, shields! 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 There we go. I need something that blocks magic quite a bit. Just basic magic. That's, uh, 30 is already better. Uh, what's the highest? 40? 40 for the wooden shield. 50? 65? Could they? Oh, right. That's why I got the shield. Forgot about that part. Alright, let's go, Beatrice. Oh, I should probably drink a little bit of Estus. I haven't used any of it. Might as well put, put it to use. And now we have some nice, calming, relaxing music playing during a very slow boss fight who will not hesitate to rip you limb from limb. How that didn't hit Witch Beatrice is beyond me, but that happened so many times, I'm honestly not surprised anymore. This guy might be able to one-shot me with that. If all three of those, like, little orb things actually hit me, that could one-shot me. Uh, that could one-shot me! Ooh, 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 I'm alive, don't worry, never fear. Come on. Oh, God, that actually hit me. Not bad. <laughs> Not a bad shot. Uh oh Ooh, get out of there. That's the attack I fear most of all. Witch Beatrice, go! Fire everything! Just keep using power attacks. We should be able to kill him before he gets his explosion off. Uh, we should not be able to kill him before he gets his... Why isn't he doing the explosion attack? I win. Well, what is it? Stupid boss know how to fight properly. Get out of here, Witch Beatrice. You've done your duty. Hit <laughs> duty. Alright, let's move on. So there you have it. The Moonlight Butterfly. Still a very easy... Even if you don't have ranged attacks, it's still a pretty easy boss. But, hey. Also, I should re equip my uh, boulder shield as I slowly ascend these stairs and hope to God I don't accidentally walk off because of this giant stonking menu in my way. And I didn't! Yay! Makes me happy. I reascend these stairwells, and here we go. Over here, we get a Watchtower Basement Key, Divine Ember, and a Homeward Bone. And I'm not, uh, I am going to use the Homeward Bone. That'd be a pretty silly thing not to do right now. Goodbye! And hello. Now, I believe this will respawn all the enemies, but that's okay. I don't mind. What are we, only eight minutes in? Well, I suppose technically that'd be... Like, what, 24 minutes in? Yeah, we're, we're approaching the end, but there is one last thing I want to try and do in Dark Root Garden. No guarantees, I'll... Oh, shit, I didn't kill him. He did... Oh, come on! There we go. I forget, trees are ethereal beings if they're in the middle of an animation. Just kill them all, and... The loot is good for it. Good to go. Now, bear in mind, after you take this thing, the, those trees will forever be hostile towards you, so... Just be wary. Alright, now there is one thing I want to do, one final thing to do here in the garden. Actually, no, I don't want to do that yet. I don't have nearly enough endurance. I will get my ass beat. I'm sorry, I just need a lot more. A lot more everything, really. But endurance chief among them. 
I was thinking of getting of going through that doorway, but that'd be a very silly thing to do right now. I'll come back before Anna Londo and do it. That's why I normally do it anyway. Boss there is incredibly easy. And the area, if you know what you're doing, is incredibly easy. If you don't know what you're doing, God help you. But if you do know what you're doing, it's not that bad. Just like fighting these trees. You sort of charge head first. A swing and a miss. Oh, that was a close call. He just about socked me in the face. Which would have completely canceled my animation. Which would vake me. V vake me. What? Oh, shit. Alright, come on. Let's kill this guy the fun way. Wait. No, there's a better way to do this. Oh, okay, that works too. Never mind, we're good. We're good. Alright, he kills himself for the sake of the greater good. Enemy ahead, I'm not even going to rate that up. It should be fairly obvious to the player that something wants him dead. Oh, does that tree know I'm here? Yeah, he does. Of course he does. No! Uh oh. So, oh, I must be a, a conal attack? Uh, I don't know. The force isn't working. Force isn't working. What's going on? I don't like this. It's scary. I don't know how miracles work. Do they just sometimes just not work if your faith isn't high enough? I don't know. Uh, it's my, this is my first time with miracles. It's a miracle I've gotten this far. Ah! I'm a funny guy. Anyways, do you see that lake down there? That's my next destination. Not really. <laughs> Lol JK. Although I might end up going there anyways. But first I need to find another bonfire. Because that place has a not really... Uh, it's it's, da it's dangerous, suffice it to say. Lizard! Lizard! Ah, yes! Now swing again! And your twinkling titanite is mine. And he gave me a titanite chunk. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Alright, so generally the way I go next is down here. Alright, never mind. Never mind, not yet. I have not yet altered from my course. Okay, now generally the way I go is way down here. There's an archer set up there. I don't care for archery. I'm a master of the sword, alright? Screw those wimpy little bolts and crossbows and arrows and shit. Screw those homing arrows as well, but anyways, that won't be coming into play for a long time. Instead, I'm coming down here. Oh, hi there. Uh, did I, yes, I did aggro him. Just had to make sure. Alright, let's go ahead and kill this guy. And with any luck, he'll give me an amazing weapon. But, as we all know, I don't have any luck. And just fish for the backstab. Excellent. Unfortunately, backstabbing him isn't going to be easy. But what is going to be easy is crushing him! And staggering him. <gasps> oh my god, I actually put my shield down for that last attack from him. Kill! Maim! Destroy! Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Oh, shield! Shield! Don't get cocky. I can kill him through a shield. Told you. Yes! He gave it to me! Joy! <laughs> that, that is a very rare drop from the Black Knights, by the way. And I am very happy to have acquired that. Black Knight Halberd is a pretty good weapon. Not gonna lie. That and I just like Halberds in general. <laughs> They're good things. They're very good swords. I do slightly prefer ultra great swords, but Halberds are still good. And this one is very good. Grass Crest Shield would have been slightly helpful. Actually, would it have been? Because I do have the uh, Cadaceous Round Shield. How much does this do? 40? Yeah, no, that would have been completely fucking useless. Anyways, now I can go over here, light this bonfire. Now over there is the other entrance to the Valley of the Drakes. There's two entrances, by the way. And uh, I'm not going to the Valley of the Drakes, because I have no reason to ever go to the Valley of the Drakes. So I'm not going to. <laughs> I've already been there once. I've gotten my loot. So I'll probably go back and kill the zombie dragon. I could probably do that right now, honestly. But I'm not going to. Anyways, just carry on over here, and there is one last enemy one fight here. What are we, 13 minutes in? God, they, <laughs> there is a lot of stuff going on. Or, not a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is going to be a lot longer than I thought, but, ah. Still got plenty of time. I actually decided to record before 6 o'clock today. Yay! Alright, well, over, over here, we're going to have uh, these crystal golems. I'm not going to fight them, because I really don't feel like it. I think I might end up aggroing this one on accident, but he'll lose his aggro for soon enough. No! I did not! Haha! -ha! That might just be the first time ever. Alright, so gonna go over here, pull out the orange guy in soapstone. Uh, be wary of... Orientation right. Uh... What the fuck? 
What is it doing back here? Whatever, man. Oh, shit. Did I aggro him? I saw movement. Oh, hi. Duh! <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck is going on? Ah! That was a terrible fight. <laughs> that was probably the worst table fight I have ever done. My god. And that's why I got this bonfire. It's so much closer than any of the other ones. Well, arguably. The one in Undead Berg might be a little bit close. No, not really. Besides, that one would be more difficult. It'd take longer in the long run, anyway. Yeah, long run. Yeah. Length! Oh, hey, y you can even see my blood stain glowing in the distance. And I just don't foolishly walk off the edge while I stare at its grossly incandescent body. Because if I did, that'd be silly. Stu that'd be very silly. Fortunately, though, I'm not too worried. That is not a dragon, you dunce. By the way, he's talking about that. Uh, if, if we stay over here, you might notice a wriggling mass of stuff over there. Keep your mind out of the gutter, kids. Yes, I'm going to be fighting him. I might kill. Him. I might try and kill him after Havel. I, it certainly is within the realm of possibility, and it might be a climactic way to end this. Uh, to end this episode off, I'll do it. Fuck it. But first, I have to not die to Havel. Who uh, might very well kill me? The best way to kill this guy is just fish for bat. <gasps> I'm alive. I'm alive. No, if he is two-handing this dragon tooth, by the way, that's what that's the weapon he's got. Then he can easily one-shot you. It doesn't matter what your armor rating. Doesn't matter what how much you're shielding. If he's two-handing the dragon tooth, you're fucked. <laughs> it's the reality of the situation. I don't know if you oh. Oh, hello there. Alright, come on. Just fish for backstabs. I'm not doing anything too... Oh, I think he'll... I think he... Oh, wait. No, that's not a backstab. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Go upstairs, and I'm in the clear. Chuck two Estus. No chances. Uh, go for the plunging attack. That was a very silly mistake. Wasn't it me who just said, don't do anything silly or stupid? Who proceeded to do something silly and stupid twice? Twice! Dude. I hate fighting this guy, by the way. Uh, especially, uh, yeah, I think I am weighed down a little bit more than I usually tend to be. I could try to go for the force. That's not the force. That's not the force! Ay. Different day, still making the same mistakes that I always make. Ha! There we go. Oh, alright. Or you could just be invincible, because that's how physics works. Ha! Ha! <gasps> or... God damn it, this force spell is useless! Again, these are some of the worst Havel fights I think I've ever done, but I know I can kill him right now. I've done it before. And I will do it again. Pull out the bloody sword this time. No f stupid foolish magics this time. Just me and Havel. <laughs> Going at it. Like, not really bros, but... <laughs> Indeed, he and I are like the opposite of pros, but that's beside the point. He drops a really good item that I really want because it would help out quite a bit. Oh, well. Uh, let's go, let's go get back there. It, uh, honestly, if I die after this one, I think I might just end up cutting out. No, it is a pretty short walk. But at the same time, it's an extra like... What the fuck was that? It's an extra like two seconds I have to commentate. That this Apparently, this is the length of two seconds. Anyways... Just run in there, grab the blood stain, and let's do this. I have no idea where my blood stain is. I almost called it my bloody blood stain. Ah! Uh, oh, hello there, Havel. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is a lot better. Backstab, finally. My God, he takes so little damage. Whatever. It's a battle of patience. Oh, what the fuck was that? I don't even know. I like rolled into him. That was interesting. Out of the way, two-hand it. So I deal more damage. Booyah. Alright, fish it again. That was not fishing for backstabs. That was dying to Havel. Nope, never mind. Little JK. Alright, let's get him out of that corner. I don't like him being in that corner. Come on, buddy. Out of the corner. Fight me like a man. Yeah, there you go. That's like a man. And now you're going to die like a man. <laughs> I always instinctively reach for my shield when I'm about to die. I don't know why. Because <laughs> the shield doesn't help you with this fight. It really doesn't. What is he... Oh. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'll take it. Alright. Finish him! That was not finishing him. Shit. 
Finish him! He blocked it. Finish him! There we go. <laughs> Only took three finishing moves, but I'll take it. It's three finishing moves that still ended up finishing him. Havel's Ring! This is awesome. I love this one. It, uh, I believe... I, I, I believe it adds 50% of your uh, weight load to your weight. So now I should be doing fast. No, I'm still going medium, but still. <laughs> Whatever, man. It helps out in the long run. Because this sword ain't, ain't light. Anyways, now that Havel's dead, I'm going to fulfill my promise, and we're going to go slay the Hydra. But first I have to get through these crystal crystal jerks. Alright, come on, buddy. Let's do this. Just get it out of the way. Ooh, he tried to go for the spike. Oh, and... Oh, oh get out of the way of that! <laughs> I forgot the Hydra likes to provide artillery from a distance. Uh, he's going for the spike attack. I'm going for the sword attack. Ooh, I can three-shot him with this sword. And I can stagger him, it looks like. Does it stagger him? Yeah, it does. All right, sweet. Well, these guys are easy enough, then. Every blow staggers them. Again, I love this Vi Hand. You have to have an insane amount of poise to not get staggered by it. I mean, look at that. That's insane. It makes me happy. All right, let's try and uh, aggro this guy without worrying the Hydra that his children are being horribly murdered. Uh, beware of water! Ah! I'm okay. <laughs> that dealt a lot less damage than it normally deals. I'm pretty sure that w that his water... If I take a direct water blast, he will kill me. That's just the reality of the situation. Aw, oh, damn. Yes! Uh-oh. Watch out, water blast! Ow. Alright, stagger him. Get out of the bloody way! Alright, Hydra killed him. I'll take it. Shoosh! Alright, so I'm taking on the Hydra with one Estus and a... Uh, should I just... No, I'm not fighting. <laughs> should I fight the Hydra? I kind of just want to go back and kindle the bonfire before I fight this guy. I do have two humanity. Alright, fuck it. I'm going to go back and kindle the bonfire. So I killed those crystal golems for nothing. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, alright. The crystal golems are dead. And I only had to use one Estus. Thank God. Oh, I might have used two. Nope, nope, I'm good. Now at this point, just go. Charge! Ow. Charge! Shit. Oh, I hate his water blast. It's so powerful. So much power. I should probably use my shield. Because it does count as a physical ability. Ow. Dear Lord, this guy is fucking my shit up. Just go over it. That's my favorite tactic. It's the best tactic as well. Alright, there we go. Now this is where the fun begins. Because this guy is actually really easy once you get him to melee only. Ah, damn. Alright, just go for one attack. Don't overcommit or else you are fucked. Alright, one attack. Go for... W try and focus down one head at least. I think I see the head I'm trying to focus down here. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Oh, shit. That one almost got me. Don't overcommit. Don't get greedy. Just slowly. Oh, he's going for a water blast. Alright, so once he goes for the water blast, just dip a bit under him. Oh, he's going for another one. Alright, come on, buddy. Why don't you get a bit closer to the shore? Or are you too chicken? I heard Hydra tastes like chicken. Why don't you prove it? Oh, did I get him? Oh, I nailed it. Nice, I nailed it. Alright, he's going. If you see him move his heads in an odd direction without yelling... That means he's going for the water blast. If you see him move his head while while yelling, he's going for a melee. Oh! I'm okay. Oh. Also, don't lock up. Oh, sweet. I cut off one of his heads. That'll make life easier. Shit, hi! Oh, I cut off a second one. Alright, so there's two ways to beat this boss. One, reduce his health to zero. That should be obvious. Or two, just destroy all the heads and he dies instantaneously. Cut off all his heads, rather. So you know it's your, well, it's your typical Hydra fight. Except I miss, because I keep on targeting the fastest head of the group. Oh, he's going for the water blast. Get close. It's always so nerve-wracking. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, my God. He's going for another one. Oh, that was a close call. All right, buddy. Oh, hi. Oh, come on. I didn't break the lock fast enough. Dang it. Oh my god, he's so far away from the bloody shore. I've never fought the Hydra while he's this far away. Hi. 
Why don't I attack that head? Ah, there we go. Three heads down. I'll take it. All right, he's water blasting. Good for you. And he's water blasting again. Come on, boy. Just get closer to the bloody shoreline, and you won't be wasting everyone's time so much. It's funny how that works. Oh, wow. I'm, am I seriously one-shotting the heads? Damn. That's insane. All right, he's water blasting. What's this loot? Oh, night. Night year. That's really not that good of a reward. Can I? Oh, wait. No, the second hit did not land. All right, he might cause damage here. No, he did not. I thought I overcommitted last time. Another head bites the dust. Oh, my God. There's so much dust, by the way. Oh, sweet. He's only got one head. Oh, two heads left. Oh, boy. This is going to be the most pain in the ass heads to take down. Thankfully, his attack pattern is pretty recognizable. Ugh. Damn it. All right, he's water blasting. No, he's not. I'm surprised. Go for it. Oh, come on. Just kill the head. All right, he's going for another attack. Ooh. It's always so nerve-wracking. Attack now. Ugh. Too late. I need to get away from that damn rock wall. Back it up. Ooh. That's a new attack. Oh, no, it's not. He's just rotated so far over, I didn't even see his other head. Two-handed. Oh, my God, did that miss? Did both of those miss? No, one of them hit. Thank God the big one hit. Otherwise, I'd have to start calling bullshit. There we go. One head remains. And it is in the most inconvenient location possible. I hate this head so much. All right, he's water bursting. Thankfully, when there's only one head, it's not quite as terrifying. Oh my god, this head is not going to be easy. Especially with... There is a ring that lets you move faster in water like this. Unfortunately, I don't have it. What the hell was that? You are way off the mark, buddy. Ooh, ooh, oh. Wow, yeah, this... <laughs> Hydras apparently don't have much depth, much depth perception when they uh, don't have all their heads. This guy is way too close to the deep water. I'm really scared about attacking him. Especially when he bloody does that. You can't bloody well fight you when your head's all the way fucking over there. You're just wasting everyone's time, Hydra. Uh, like that. <laughs> Hold on, I've got an idea. Right, and now that he's attacking, run to the left. Nope. What? Why? What are you hoping to accomplish? I mean, really? What is it? What is it? <laughs> the supreme cockiness. Just walking up to a hydra. Well, what is it, motherfucker? Hey. I'm trying to think. Do I have any ranged weapons? God. I don't know what he's trying to do. Let me see what, how many... Do I have any... I don't think I have any arrows, actually. Um, let me check and see. I don't have like, 16 bolts. That's nowhere. It could be enough. Oh, fuck it. Let's give it a try. I don't... I, I've never actually used a crossbow before. So, I don't know. Give it a shot. Yeah, <laughs> get it. Um, I, can you aim manually? Uh, I think if you put away your shield, you can. And then two hand. Uh, nope, that is not aiming manually. That is not. Uh, is that? No, I don't know how to aim manually. Six damage! Um, apparently pulling right trigger just makes me constantly reach for my ass. Oh my god, I have no idea how to use crossbows. Fire! Okay, I'm wasting my crossbows by shooting at that one. I want to shoot at the head. It was going to be over here. This is probably the most anticlimactic Hydra fight anyone has ever seen in their life. Fire! Am I firing? I can't tell. Well, it's not am I firing, it's am I hitting is the big one. Well, I'm certainly not hitting when he's all the way over there. This fight is turning into a serious bore. Oh, here we go. 
Yes, 15 damage. All right, 15. It maybe, maybe seven crossbows might be able to kill this last head. Just take your time and don't move. Oh god, that was a terrible shot. Oh no, it wasn't. All right, all right. So pretty much just fire when he moves his head, and we're good. Let's try and hasten up the process. Can I get off two bolts? No, I cannot. I'm just waiting for the day this Hydra head falls because it was pelted with crossbow bolts. Ooh, that might be way... No, again, I keep on underestimating it. Alright, another arrow. Another arrow. <laughs> this is the most boring boss fight. Oh, there goes another... Nope, never mind, that was not a water blast. Alright, we have one last bolt. Can it be the chosen one? Damn it. Alright, so I guess I have to resort to this Vihander. This is not going to be fun. Just run, 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 and I might be able to just skim the head, maybe? Ay, god damn it. This is not going to be... This is not going to be fun, I su suffice it to say. Oh, maybe! Maybe! Yes! Ah! Feels so good! Mmm! Well, what is it? You're a Hydra. You just got killed by a wimpy human. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. How to fight the Hydra like a boss. So be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.